And new here at 5 o'clock, a deadly coyote attack has left a northwest suburban family mourning the loss of a beloved family member, their dog. This is the second suspected coyote attack in Palatine in the last month. WGN's Mike Lowe, live at the Palatine Police Station, with more on that. Mike. Micah and Ben, good evening to both of you. Palatine police have been looking into coyote sightings and attacks here in residential areas for the last several weeks. And last night, it was a coyote attack on a residential home that left one family mourning the death of their pet. Come on. Jada Grewe is playing with her three dogs, Grace, Roscoe, and a straggler. Behind me is Bear. <laughs> They're all rescues. They'd normally be running through the backyard, but today they're staying safe on the confines of the back porch, just one day after the family's fourth dog, Chili, was killed after a suspected coyote attack. Just completely mauled by an animal. I was in complete shock. She believes the coyote, whose footprints lead up to the six-foot fence, probably came in, hopped up, and I mean, it happened all right here. Climbed over and attacked Chili. Got him, I mean, right in the throat. It was very hard for him to even breathe at that point. So we unfortunately did have to put him down. And it was very hard to see him go. Even for having him for a year, it felt like we've had him our whole life. Today, Animal Control was patrolling the wooded subdivisions of Palatine, and Palatine police noted nearly 15 coyote sightings since last October. Just last month, a coyote dragged a small dog from its leash and killed it. In a statement, police said, quote, reports involving coyotes attacking pets are rare occurrences in Palatine, but there have been numerous coyote sightings in the area. Pet owners must stay vigilant. I know all of my surrounding neighbors. They all have very small dogs, so they are all in aware of what's happened and keeping a close eye out on their dogs. And this is the second time the Greewee family has suffered a fatal attack on a dog from a coyote. They said they put up that six-foot fence in response, and police say that is a good line of defense, but they remind homeowners not to keep gates open, not to leave food out, and really not to leave pets unattended in the backyard.